Welcome to CuisineofIndia.com. I'm Madhu Gadia. Today we're going to make chicken curry from my book, New Indian Home Cooking. I'm a firm believer that taste and health go hand in hand. The recipe I'm going to make today is low in fat, saturated fat, and high in taste and flavor. You can download the recipe from the link below or go to cuisineofindia.com. Let's get started. The first thing I want to make sure is that I have all the ingredients ready. Chopped, measured, and ready to go. Uh, let's start by heating the pan. Use medium to high heat and you want to make sure that you we want about three pounds of chicken. I have the butcher cut the chicken to my specifications. And cut about one inch of slits into the chicken. Okay? And when the pan is hot, you add the oil, about two tablespoons of oil. I use canola oil because it is low in, um, or it's high in unsaturated fat and monounsaturated fat and it does not impart any flavor into the dish. Okay, we need tongs. Use some tongs here and I'm going to put chicken in single layer into the, and cook it until it's white. I've used the chicken here with the bone in because this adds flavor to the curry sauce that is and if you want to use boneless skinless chicken use only one and a half pounds of chicken for half of it is bone and skin. Now just remove the skin, uh, chicken with tongs or slotted spoon taking all draining all the excess oil into the pan and just remove it into the plate and we're going to use the same oil and add about a cup of chopped onions. Okay, And that's about a medium onion finely chopped, uh, four garlic cloves or two um, teaspoons of garlic chopped and two teaspoons of ginger, fresh ginger that has been chopped. Okay. We're going to fry this until the onions are golden brown. Okay, it'll take you about three to five minutes, or three to four minutes to get your onions golden brown. Now, we're going to go ahead and add a cup of chopped tomatoes. That's about a one medium tomato, finely chopped. And this will, the moisture from the tomatoes will help you remove any of the uh, stickiness from the bottom of the pan. So that's good. Now add your spices. And here I'm going to add individual spices. Uh, I do not use curry powder as it will not give you the flavor and taste that individual spices will give. Add one teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of fennel seeds, and a tablespoon of coriander powder. Stir after the spices. And now we're going to add half a teaspoon of cayenne powder and a teaspoon of black pepper, coarsely ground. Now. It's the cayenne pepper and black pepper that gives the curry its heat. If you don't want it so hot, don't use as much cayenne pepper or eliminate it altogether as well as the black pepper. It's your curry. Make it as hot and spicy as you want it. But leave the other spices in there for that's what adds the flavor. Let it cook for about two to three minutes and that will help get this um, curry sauce its flavor. Okay, we're now going to use 
add about a half a cup of yogurt. The yogurt, you want to use a fork to make the yogurt smooth. Now again, I'm using non-fat plain yogurt in here to keep the fat content and saturated fat content low. In restaurants, this is where they will add cream into the sauce and that's what gives it, makes it very rich. Now, you want to add about one to two tablespoons of yogurt at a time and stir to assimilate the yogurt into the sauce, okay? Otherwise, it'll curdle and have a different texture, basically. Now, put the chicken back in. Okay. And put all the juices back into the uh, pan. Add about a half a teaspoon of salt onto the chicken. and stir your chicken so that it's well covered with the spices and the onion blend. Add half a cup of water, just sprinkle it all around. And I like to add some cilantro, just cook it in there. And we're just going to cover it and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once it starts to boil, turn it to low, reduce the heat to about a medium to low, but it should continue to simmer, but not boil too high. So just cover, you don't need to touch it, and in 20 minutes, your curry will be ready. All right, let's see if our chicken curry is ready. Wow, look at this. I wish you could smell that. This looks completely ready. We don't have to do anything. We're going to finish it off. We're just adding about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And you can add a little more cilantro if you'd like. To cut the cilantro, just finely chop the cilantro, but not too fine. Okay? And we're ready. Okay. Let's see how our chicken curry turned out. Mmm, it looks delicious. It looks great. It's so colorful. Mmm. It's tender, juicy, and delicious. It's full of flavor. Enjoy it with rice or flatbread of choice, preferably whole grain. With less than 200 calories and 9 grams of fat, it's great for your waistline too. For more recipes and tips, go to cuisineofindia.com. I'm Madhugadia. Until next time, happy healthy cooking.